Hi there guys, how's it going? So, I know I just did a video like this, uh, here's what I'm going to be playing next video, um, but it turns out I didn't really enjoy that last build. Sometimes you plan things out in path of building and it all looks good on paper, but it starts to fall apart once you go to implement it. Um, and where that last build fell apart, which I'm talking about the fake lowlife slayer double strike build, was that last bit, the double strike. Did not really enjoy playing Double Strike, sadly. I've got a bit of a checkered past with Strike skills. Um, played a good number of them a couple of leagues ago. Did not really like most of them. I think the only true Strike skill that I've ended up enjoying is Viper Strike so far. Um, I've had an on-again, off-again relationship with Flicker Strike, but I don't know if I would call that a true Strike skill in my mind. But we are not here to dig into the nitty-gritty of what constitutes a true and proper melee skill and what does not. I am not enough of a Scotsman for that. Anyways, um, yeah, so, what am I going to be playing next? You'll notice I don't have Path of Building up, I have PoE Ninja up. And that is because I am shamelessly yoinking a build from a viewer. Um, I mean, there's some truth to that. I was recommended this build by a viewer, and it looks really, really interesting. Just extremely clever. And I'm going to be leaving a link to this PoE Ninja um, in the description of the video. Full credit to Ragis Slams for being the one who designed this particular iteration of the character. I believe the strength stacking, chaos damage, sort of zerker thing. You'll see a lot of the elements of this build with, uh, with the General's Cry that we're going to be doing. I'll get into it in a minute. A lot of the elements of this build are fairly popular in a number of other iterations of it, so I don't know if this is the first version of it that's ever been put out there, but it is the version of it that I was shown, it's the first version of it I saw, and a lot of the innovations in this variant are credit to Ragislams, um, whose, again, link will be in the description. Uh, or Rags, Rag Sharrows, I think is the account name, Ragislams being the character name, so Rag Sharrows will get the credit for this particular iteration here, which I'm going to dig into it. I'm going to dig into what makes it so exciting to me and why I've actually already leveled it um, for the most part. I'll get to that. Anyways, uh, how do I start with this? It's like chipping away at an iceberg with a toothpick or two. There's a, there's a lot to unpack here, but we'll start with how the damage is done. This is a General's Cry build using Earthquake. More specifically, it uses Phantasmal Earthquake. Which, uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with the alternate quality version of Earthquake, um, it gives increases and reductions to spell damage also apply to attack damage from this skill. There is a missing bit of text there that is assumed, but technically is on the gen, which is at 100% of their value. And it's important to realize that, because one of the really cool things about this build is that that text, which isn't there but is assumed the at 100% of their value effect is actually scalable. Which means if we provide additional quality to Phantasmal Vol Earthquake, or Phantasmal Earthquake, I'm probably not going to get a Vol version, um, that number scales. So if we scale the quality by double, let's say, uh, what it normally would be, so 40% instead of 20, I don't think I'm going to achieve that, but just as an example to keep the math easy, that would mean we'd have increases and in reductions to spell damage, also apply to attack damage from this skill at 200% of their value which is pretty ridiculous when you go and combine that with Repentance. Now, I did briefly touch on the fact earlier this is a strength stacking build. We're using Replica Alberon's Warpath, which not only gives a bunch of percent strength, but gives some flat chaos to attacks per strength. Um, well, I say we, this version of it that I'm basing my version of the build off of, I'll be making a few changes, but I'll be making those as I go. I'm kind of figuring this out on the fly, so we're just using this as a template. <clears throat> But this version of the build stacks quite a lot of strength. You'll see percent strength synth items in all the correct spots where you can get those. Uh, Iron Fortress for a bunch of strength and some more strength synergies. But we'll get into the other uniques in a bit. Um, so yeah, all of that then is funneled through Iron Will, which for those of you who don't know what that is, Iron Will causes your percent melee physical damage value from strength to instead apply to spell damage. So that then loops back around and gets fed into the Phantasmal Earthquake, which you then link to enhance, specifically level 4 enhance, in order to push that increases and in reductions to spell damage effect to its maximum. And you actually, with a level 4 enhance, can get 
44% quality on this, which means you can more than double the scaling from spell damage to attack damage. But it doesn't even stop there. The keen eye among you may have noticed that this build uses an Iron Fortress, which causes Strength's damage bonus to instead grant 3% increased damage, which gets funneled through the Iron Will and sent straight back to the Phantasmal Earthquake, where it just <laughs> magnifies the damage again. Um, but that's not even the end of it. So Strength in this build gives us percent damage because of Iron Will. But it also, as I briefly touched on, gives us flat damage, 1 to 80 chaos damage to attacks per 80 strength from the replica Alberon's Warpath. So that gives us the base amount of damage that we're working with, which will then be amplified by the massive percent increase through Phantasmal Earthquake with Enhance and Iron Will. And then add to that the fact that you can use a Maven Orbed version of a... Um, I believe it's a Warlord mod, the accuracy rating equal to your strength. So yeah, strength is giving us accuracy too. So far, strength is giving us percent damage, flat damage, accuracy. Um, and then you can Maven Orbit, so you get 1% crit chance per 10 strength. So you're getting percent damage, flat damage, accuracy, crit chance off of your strength. And then, you know, it's strength, so you're getting life from it too. So this, <laughs> this build leverages strength to gain five different things. It just, it's sort of like how Archmage builds take mana and turn them into recovery and turn mana into damage and turn mana into EHP and turn mana into, you know, fucking bread and fish and just anything. You can, just, you can live off of mana on an Archmage build. Similar concept here, where we just stack a billion gillion strength and it gives us our life, our damage, our accuracy, everything that you need. Um, there is one more synergy that I want to mention, which is really, really neat with this build, and that is the fact that it's taking advantage of the uh, mix, mixy pixels machination. I don't know how to say that. You don't. You probably can figure it out. This shield that gives you the whole um, grab bag of keystones. The important thing here, the really important thing here, as you may be aware from see, pre seeing previous versions of build using this, is that it gives you Divine Flesh without taking up your Timeless Jewel slot. And that is in incredibly important because it lets you use a Rakiata Lethal Pride, which gives you access to Tempered by War, which this build picks up right here, down in the uh, Marauder Start area. And Tempered by War causes you to take a portion of Cold and Lightning damage as Fire damage instead. Divine Flesh causes you to take the rest of that Cold and, fire or, sorry, cold and Lightning damage as Chaos damage instead which means you do not have a use for Lightning Res or Cold Res. And that is a huge deal for a stat stacking build, because as I said, I'm getting everything in the world that I could want from Strength, except Resistances. But if I don't need two out of the four Resistances, that's not nearly as big a problem. So we just stack a whole bunch of Fire Res and Chaos Res, which, funny enough, two of the uniques we want to use give us Chaos Res anyway. And we don't have to worry, we've just, we've solved the resistance problem. Not only that, we've become massively tankier to lightning and cold damage in the process of solving the resistance problem, as well as completely immune to lightning pen and cold pen, because we aren't taking any lightning or cold damage, so the pen for those elements doesn't do anything. Um, it's, it's really just an incredibly elegant build. Again, I did not come up with pretty much any of the core concepts here. Some of these have been floating around for a number of leagues, some of them are new. Um, but I just love the way that Reg Shadows here has taken all of these and combined them together so elegantly, just so honestly beautifully. Um, and I really, really want to play the build, you know? Sometimes I just, I see a build somebody else has made and I appreciate it so much that I want to give it a try myself. Not trying to claim any of the originality here, just trying to show some appreciation for a really well-made character. Um, I am going to be adjusting this somewhat for hardcore. This character is built in softcore trade, as you may have noticed. Uh, but it's not too hard to adjust the damage that this thing outputs as you can see over here is pretty darn substantial we could cut that down by 30 40 percent and still have plenty of dps and i think that's really all we need to lose in order to work in some more tankiness in order to make it a bit more hardcore friendly so if you're interested in the progression of my variant of this extremely elegant build do go ahead and check in the description below follow me on twitch follow me on twitter all that good stuff uh subscribe here too if you want to but you can also just check out this build and dig through it yourself if you want to see some of the finer details. The link to this um, Peewee Ninja will be in the description. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and do all the follow stuff that I mentioned earlier. I won't belabor the point. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.